come and has been uh, presented in several occasions uh, uh, since this year. And I tried to uh, uh, pack it a little bit uh, into the uh, search issue. Uh, so, so that it won't fall into the backwards and kind of standard physics uh, uh, as a textbook for content. So, so I thought it would fall a little bit. And I cannot resist myself to show a, a beautiful detector uh, plot. And to begin with, uh, I say a little bit about the hardware and experiment. And I addressed the uh, labels uh, at the candle of the search and actually go into the WW and ZZ issue when it was search. And then to find out uh, to, to rate, uh, rate up the, uh, the labels of uh, detection. I'll also show the single set that has been uh, actually last week been approved for presentation. If we have time, I go through the announced couple. Um, it's a uh, three years ago. Uh, nobody believed we will have quantum universe in the wild. And since after the first year run, and then the market data becomes out there, and, and after the uh, third, uh, year 2012, we almost collected 25 these plate parts. And when the another comes up, the issue is about the pile up. And if you look at this event, the cross is so many in one data picking. And these two uh, yellow lines are the interest. This is the decay. So the pile up to the analysis is really heavy, in particular for the jet. But for the analysis, once you get pinned down the colliding points, this is an instant effect along the uh, tracking system. So you really can build back the colliding points. Once you manage to build up, uh, build back the colliding point, you can pick up the trace of the interest. So the inverted cut always must. So this is showing the pile up uh, ratio. 70 dB and the uh, number of pile up uh, occurred in one event, for example. Now it's an average of about 20, there's so many. Uh, this is a show that you not say this not, uh, this is not a surprise if you look at the uh, instant luminosity. The accelerated one is really good very hard. The, they had one collision, so they had one accident, so they, they speak so so conservatively. So so this machine next year, I think they start to really go climb good high. And this is about the detector, right? The uh, parameter of the optical is different from, from others. This is a kind of a lot of the service term. We use liquid, uh, liquid outcome uh, detectors. And parameter can, can detect electron and gamma. This is a very strong of the electromagnetic uh, interactions. However, they cannot identify electrons from gamma, so we need a subtract from. So the uh, electron and gamma are separated by matching they get track with the cross inside. And there are also so many structures that they from that actually is a purpose, in particular for pi zero build up. Uh, if there is a pi zero from the jet, actually uh, it's, it's a challenge to, to distinguish the gamma from a pi zero. The next uh, uh, most uh, profound system, the neon system, is it? is famous for building for the toroid parameter, uh, toroid neon detector. Right. So inside it's a uh, Japanese uh, KPI uh, uh, toroid, uh, sorry, uh, coil that provide the uh, tracking for inner detector. Outside, there is a large, uh, large toroid system around the supplemental system around it. So the neon coming out of character to expand a little bit, so we can do a uh, good uh, neon tracking. Some of the uh, CMS uh, neon are also doing very good jobs. So for example, if I show here. The neon idea is to get into the center model issue and the, uh, the impact of search. For example, this is the uh, 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 level pair, uh, the peak, right? and this is a neon pair spectrum from the very low GV level to the Z peak. And uh, we all know that uh, CMS is much better on the uh, uh, tracking system, so they can just do the mean system very well. So, so in analysis, uh, to begin with, we really, uh, up to nowadays, still laptop and photo are the major this, uh, analysis channels. We need to do electron ID and neon ID. And to calibrate the detectors to, go, to, to do a precision measurement of, of all these electron uh, signals. For example, by identifying a, uh, Z K pairs, by taking one side, we look for the other side. We can we can use this kind of candle uh, to, to 
to identify the missing uh, electron that is anticipated and figure out the detector efficiency and so on. So standard model Z, for example, is one major uh, detector category source. The next thing, uh, missing T. Uh, if you remember for D0, I think, uh, it took them three years to uh, build up the missing T measurement for both the uh, LGC or all the L3 experiments. The missing T uh, accomplishment we half a year or one year is very impressive. And missing ET is not just by one single one single sub detector. It has to build up from the tracking parameter and all the neural system, for example, to do the to do the missing ET. Uh, for example, uh, so many neutrinos are understanding the uh, detection, and that kind of effect must be identified carefully. This is the W that has a WK has a laptop plus one neutrino neutrino escape detection. So this is the uh, PD distribution. And for that, that has both uh, electron beam detector, so there is no missing key. So by the Z and W distribution will give you a very, very, uh, say, very precise uh, uh, test, per se, for how good you do the missing key. And you may still claim that the, the kinematic range for them are quite limited, of course. So look at this tail. Z must have very low key. And W has high key. So, this is the first test. Things must agree over here, otherwise, uh, all the uh, studies or any searches won't be at all correct, uh, won't be meaningful at all. And uh, over here, I kind of introduce uh, beyond just a single boson, for example. Uh, jet itself is a complicated issue. Earlier, we have many sections on the uh, jet. This is, uh, I, I particularly take the uh, Z plus jet. The, uh, the issue here is that it is a uh, physics no longer at the uh, leading order level. It's the next leading order level. In particular, multi jet to tail part, how many jets you can calculate and write? For example, he said you're not doing so well on multi jets. And uh, say three, four, five, the amount of uh, multi jet being corrected must be uh, correct, new, next leading order calculation. And there is, uh, in particular, this measurement has an issue for the perturbative uh, QC. And W plus a B jet analysis has been published uh, lately. If you look at the number of jet and the agreement of here, this has a particular issue is that B jet must be uh, carefully studied, otherwise the search here, for example, Higgs search require B jet. Uh, I'll talk about that later. Now let me come to the uh, precision part in the number of diapos. And over here is plotting the class of leading order diagram to each each of its channels. By themselves, it's a precision study. If there are no, no searches, by themselves, they must have broke down to us a few percent level, uh, like the lab has been doing. Um, and the classical T channel production is over here. And this uh, S channel is another issue is that uh, up to today, of course, at lab two, we, we could do the WK. Now, it's the time we can do the, at the TEV level, we can do the Vector both are okay for WZ uh, measurement over here. And this is only allowed in the standard model for child particle. And neutral particle is not allowed. And we want to know if there's any deviation. If the deviation exists, then it really is a, it's a, it's a scientific issue for the new, new physics. And the by themselves, the standard model dipoles are must go precision for another, another reason. Unless they go to a precision measurement, otherwise all search issues cannot be issued. Uh, they might, cannot be uh, clarified. For example, AQWW, I'll talk about this a little bit, and on other search channels. And then WZ by themselves is not a hit issue. There are other, uh, say, tech departments with issue. And ZZ by itself is also a hit search issue. Now, uh, forget about the, 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 the searches. Dipoles on themselves can no longer be a leading order measurement. It must go uh, to several theoretical issues. For example, the most important one is the parameter density functions. At least we are using CTEC and MSDW of the European Corporation. Why so? If you look at this distribution, the blue is the standard model, uh, the leading order population, and the green is the next leading order population, and the deviation is on the high PD region. And high PD region is very low. So, so uh, in many calculations, for 
present the simple set to the W for W E and then L open O E L open E and L open relation. And you can make all kinds of substitution of what you can and L all kinds. And uh, on the Z channel, if you look at it, the, this region, it kind of emphasizes uh, there is a QED radiation issue. So after correction, before correction, the shape can deviate a lot. So of course, QED uh, radiation, uh, uh, final state radiation is, is a well studied, well understood. So there's some, some, some detailed stuff that necessary. And I told you about the uh, S channel triple cage coupling. This is one of the calculations showing if there's some deviation from the center model. And what you'll see a high PT region. Actually, there's a there's KP depending on um, the parameter side. Uh, this is not special. So, so in particular, for w, w gamma, there's some other issues you said. Right. Now, let me come to the W channel. It's, uh, this channel is important first. It, it has high statistics. Second, it's good content because we are missing two neutrinos. So, a lot of our uh, uh, net powers are, are putting into this analysis at the very beginning. And uh, besides the uh, leading order channel uh, calculation, the higher order calculation are, are, are being pursued. For example, at least we have two generators being used at GG2, WW, and so on. The, the calculation of the FDL contribution are at the 3% level. And if there's a center model hit a contribution, that's around 3% at this period. Right. So the, uh, the event, one of the event is shown here. And let's come to the analysis. Uh, the background is dominated to again the P and, and so on. For example, if you look, if you look at this uh, this field, the train in the green is so here. The peak is up here. And the the, the light, light light yellow region is the secret one. So at least you need to get rid of Z and then you need to get rid of the train In the end there's still a huge uh, top the grounds up here, and there's additional jet are required to get rid of the green. So we come to the red of the plane uh, spectrum. And this is of the uh, 17 degree. New results are published yet. And from this result, if you look at the measure for section 52, 47, and the alpha correlation, that's at least 10% deviation. And this has not included the 3% measure being reported. This is the unfolded uh, PD distribution, and I'll come to the, 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 the search issue here. See what kind of changes have been. Um, the, I believe all the WW analysis men are all coming to the WW. This is a pretty much. And the analysis actually got broken into zero jet, one jet, and, and two jet, for example. This is a number of jet being, uh, being uh, capital, capitalized. And for the E mu, mu e, and E e mu, mu, there's some frame issue here. So, so for example, if you uh, so, so eventually the analysis are divided into e mu and, and seven flavor uh, columns in these two columns and divided into number of jets. The purple is the purple is the WW graph. So and similar to red, a little bit on top. Right? So one picture could not show all the searches for the WW. So by dividing out all these categories over here, 42 jet tagging. This is required to break and check to 500 GB cut. And in this case, the vector poles are fusion dominant, 81%, this category. Right? And eventually, for this analysis, actually, it has, uh, has to divide it to the uh, VDF and the uh, ground fusions, uh, uh, a little bit of here, the, the pink one, okay. And for the different flavor, it is real background of quite different. After all the combined and the ground subtracted, the graph mass distribution like this. Because we have two neutrino lost, we don't see a very clean peak in our final distribution. Um, so, so from this, to decide the graph mass in particle, for this unless up to now, four uh, ATV uh, data actually dominated by ATV data. The best could come to say uh, 140 G. And the uh, mu is one considered with the then model of predictions. However, you don't, you don't, up to this point, looking at the, the different mass distribution and the effect dependence, uh, still 125 is only one signal. And there is almost no resolution getting talked about for this kind of channel. So, so if 
we put the move the uh, uh, test of what they find, they did not, not much. Right. Uh, once uh, we have the observable uh, more complete with W gamma uh, W Z channel, is that we can deal back the Z. Right. Still W has one which is not lost. So this is a contain about 10% percent the ground with this Z Z uh, minus selective. Totally right now here is about what um, we say certainly must think about. This just indicate after all these tests taken, the amount of event you can do for that product is still, still not so many. For the W is a is a around two thousand event, still not so many. And then up to the measurement is that uh, with the, this again the certain the cross-section almost agree perfectly with the standard model and the whole definitions. So we plot the red line along the red is like the LGC uh, the cross-sections. Right. Now let me move on to the uh, semi uh, the time item sale for the dipole of the This is already difficult to measure. And we call the jet system. When you come to the jet inside the T equation, it becomes very, very messy. So the environment in that field up looks like this. And there is no way to distribute that in our Z. Uh, if your parameter and your Z measurement is good, as good as it and that, for example, you probably get a chance to separate the WP from the ZP. So we need to do the combine. The combine to set here is here. I have been a very hard to use this is my uncertainty. This is with the 17 V that uh, and, uh, you can look at the map there. I, I would say with the 18 V the result of the, uh, the result better in, in, in terms of this uncertainty. What kind of impact this is to the uh, search? This is a uh, Higgo DB of Atlas uh, still of the last year. This is with the uh, 13th plus the of that. Right. And, and uh, the search for the uh, B is negative. The uh, Higgo DB is negative, minus 0.4, nothing like that. But however, you come back to the calibration again. It showed the uh, power of the diboson as a candle in the search. You must do that boson so as to be able to build up the faith or the trust on the Higgs search. Unless the distribution, the blue is a dip, right? And the red is the uh, WZ. So actually, they, they kind of build up uh, as background, the reducible background. You cannot just do WZ Z, Z from the WH, right? They, they have a similar, except the flavor. Z can go to all kinds of top flavor, Higgs flavor and B flavor, of course. So this is the kind of diagram you see. So, not a surprise you come to this uh, conclusion, there's negative uh, observation for the HDB. Now, come to the best channel for the dipole as well as for all the searches. If we do ZZ measurement, both the Z have their depth point being reconstructed, and this is the final step for one of the leading jet. And you look at how far little the dipole is. And by, by cutting the corner of the environment, that the, these are the two unmeasured Z. Also, there are numbers to be carried out for one of the Z decayed in the original pair. So we are only observing one Z. In this case, we need to do some uh, uh, missing from the area of the ground. Another result. The, the Z Z very massive spectrum are, are shown here. And in parallel, the uh, single Z of these two neutrinos are quite positive. And the measurements are also in very good agreement with the same measurement. So this is about the that's a result, and from remember this part, I'm coming to the Higgs search issue. Uh, we work on this angle, right? And when we start, we relax the uh, Z mass cut. So this is just on one horizon, right? on, on one Z horizon, actually, over this region, right? The blue peak. And this is the uh, one Z mass from the other Z mass. One Z is on this shell, the other is not. Uh, going down below, like 40 G. So this is about its peak. And, and this is about uh, the uh, set search, of course, I just emphasized because my intention actually comes to the next peak. Right. So previously, I, I reported the set over here. And in this review, we see this excess is 1.7 to the same moment. Right. And now, looking down, there's another peak. And this peak provides another precision test of the whole spectrum. So, um, single Z to YL, this is about this diagram. Not a surprise. 
two left pump on the Z, and one of the left pump is the red is another two left pump. And uh, the whole analysis, the whole analysis follow follow the uh, the standard model in search mostly, except those red. So we relax on the Kika and the Mernas cut, so we can in, enhance the statistic. And this teaching and all actually for the ZZ production uh, is now treated as an extra contribution that uh, not so much desired. Country about 8%. This is a type of right? This is a meeting or the I'm addressing the direct issue here. Yeah. When I when I read this spectrum, I tell you that's a puzzle, I don't know what to do about that. You see this uh, teaching and contribution, about 10% over here. I have a, a, a twist uh, over here. And this is the X channel contribution, right? This trace has a position just waiting uh, to start the hit, right? So if we are only sitting on the leading motor, right? You'll say maybe this uh, observed the 125, that's just a twist of the dipole sub and single set production. So it shouldn't be a discovery. When we come to complete population, the distribution shows like that. This is, uh, this is the distribution for the uh, uh, Z channel. The, the discovery was all here, right? And this is the lower bound we want to discuss right now, the single set production. So from the NAL calculation, uh, we can have a rather precise uh, cross-section temperature ratio and so on. So by enhancing the number of trends over here on this beam over here, we actually come to uh, the 160 event, not so many. However, this is good enough to provide rather precise branch and ratio measurement. It also hit the standard model prediction, right? Now I finish my uh, uh, heavy dipole uh, channel. I will quickly on this uh, W gamma Z gamma. Right. The W gamma Z gamma by themselves are actually a uh, uh, comparison that uh, by themselves are uh, uh, good to kind of distinguish means contribution. Uh, Z gamma has the P channel I, with ISR, this is the instance of dipole of this is the NFSR, the photon directly from my left. And W gamma has this additional diagram. If you remember, it's a uh, W gamma channel actually in the D0 publication, they have the radio in zero calculation. Those are the three channels, those three types of human being. So unless you understand the inference well enough, you have trouble interpreting the physics. So actually, for the uh, presented result, we divide the case with uh, no, no jet and with jet. The trouble is that the NL calculation here become a little bit trouble. And uh, the earlier calculation is, is by power and later on like Sherpa does a little bit of calculation. So this is unfolded uh, percent. If you want to compare the percent we measure, there's a, quite, a, quite a bit of variation, uh, not so easily uh, understood. But I would say unless we understand the inference between those two examples in any of your calculation. Unless we understand the number of jets and have a good equipment there. Otherwise, this course and uh, will remain to be trouble. Now, come to the not uh, true gauge coupling. Again, I said uh, this S channel is allowed for, for charge particles, charge bosons, and not allowed for neutral bosons. So if you want to observe any deviations, these are the amount of effective uh, Lagrangian that So what kind of effect here? Yeah. If there is anonymous contribution, we expect some tail on high PD. And as I said earlier, there's some high PD uh, NPL calculation K factor always give you this. So you need to do both sides, both sides uh, correct. Right. You need to get an NAO K factor correct, otherwise this measurement is invalid. Or you say we, when we have high PD, extra high PD, then we understand. So traditionally, the uh, uh, two-gauge coupling is by big value put on the PT of uh, decay particles and by measuring the deviation in high PT. So actually, the very point of a couple points, they were all there to indicate the, 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 the effect. So the answer will be straight. The WW has five parameters. By some argument, we reduce the parameter to like two or three. And these are the parameters that we use as a no extra uh, un 
not affect me. Yet. In fact, they are, this is the most uh, easy case because uh, they are charged. They only have three power so we can do some nice control to measure the dependence. And then on ZZ, uh, we take four parameters, F for zero and so on, and also we don't see any excess in IPP. And then couple the W gamma and the gamma, uh, the, the measurement also shows no enhancement in IPP for us. So to conclude, I'll show you Typhosa, actually I kind of emphasize the uh, very active searches. And Typhosa, standard moment measurement are all very much in the time to set model. So to say, by time to set standard model sectors, the measurement has not been deviated from them. Thank you. Questions? Thank you all the speakers again.